Grok. Why Grok? Thank you, Becky. Uh, <laughs> it's Grok, and we spell it with a Q. Right. And it's because it comes from a science fiction novel, and it means to understand something deeply and with empathy. Of course it does. Tell us about your chip and what makes Grok chip LPU different from other AI chips and accelerators. I have to tell our viewers that the NVIDIA uh, CEO was here, of course, uh, this week at the beginning of the week. So we've, uh, we've had all the greatest minds in here. What's your story? Well, asking me how the chip works before I show you what it does is a bit like asking how a magic trick works before showing you the magic <laughs> trick. You're going to get bored, <laughs> but I'll give it a shot. Cool. So most chips, they, they don't have enough memory inside of them. Mm. Sort of like if you were building cars and you use a giant factory and you need a, about a million square feet of assembly line mm. space. Well, if you don't have a building that's large enough to fit that, then you need to set up part of the assembly line, tear it down over and over again. Right. And that's slow and it takes a lot of time. And that's what happens with the GPU. You have to read from that memory. So thousands of times for every word that comes out, mm. it's as if you're setting up the assembly line over and over. Right, you talk about the wow moment people have when they first experience the speed of your tech. You are breaking performance records almost every week. How fast is your processing today? And why is speed so crucial? To coin a phrase, so what, why do I care about the speed? <laughs> the reason you care about the speed is it's about engagement. Imagine if I spoke that, if I spoke that slowly, mm. you'd just drift off, you'd, you'd go away. Most certainly. So the statistic is, if you improve the speed by 100 milliseconds on a website on desktop, you will get about an 8% increase in, in user engagement. On mobile, it's 34%. People have no patience on mobile. And we now set a speed record where we can do what's called 500 tokens per second. That would be a novel in about, oh, somewhere around 100 seconds. I'm going to get to this. I just got to ask you one other question before I actually try this out, because clearly that's the only way to really kind of reveal what we're doing here. What makes you better than other large language models? So we don't make the large language models. We just make them fast. Mm. And so we take open source models. We run them. So it's the same model everyone else mm. has. But you will have a very different experience because of the speed. Right now, AI is unnatural. All right. I asked you that question, but why don't I actually just ask Grok? All right, let's do that. So we're going to turn it on. Let's do it. I know the answer to this, Grok, but what makes you different? Well, first, to gonna... another. Hey, I'm Grok. You can talk to me like I'm a person. All right, I, I will do. Today? What makes you different from a large language model that I may have used in the past? Sure, I'm a bit different from those big language models you've used before. I'm a language user interface, or LUI, designed to have more natural Got and engaging it. conversations. How similar are you to a I'm human brain? Well, I'm not a human brain, but I'm designed to understand and respond to you like one. Yeah. I can process and generate human language Tell in a natural way. Got it. But I don't Tell me something most people don't know. Um, here's something interesting. Did you know that octopuses have three hearts? Two pump blood to the gills, while the third pumps it to the rest uh, of the body. And when an octopus swims, the heart that it? delivers blood no, to the body stops sure? beating, yeah. which is why are octopuses prefer to no. crawl rather than swim, <laughs> unless necessary. Write me a poem, it's Valentine's Day. A very short one, very, 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 very short, but lovely. Oh, I see. Oh, I see. Happy Valentine's Day. I'm glad you're having a lovely day. I hope you get to spend time with someone special or do something fun. This is Is there real. anything you'd like to talk about or ask? No, I'm not, I'm, not I'm, I'm, I'm giving up on you. You've done everything that I asked and more. Thank you so much. I feel as if I'm talking to a human being. It's worrying me. How worried are other chip manufacturers by you? Well, we've been contacted by a few of them. The speed is definitely a differentiator and people notice it and should I, so thank you very much. Oh, sorry. How rude of me. <laughs> yes. Oh, we just interrupted it again. Thank you very much. You're welcome. <laughs> How will this tech be applied in our everyday life? Look, I get that. And, and this is quite something because I've been sitting using others, you know, typing away, getting quite a lot of good quite a lot of not so good, I have to say. So this is really interesting. But what's the answer to that question? 
Well, let's, let's talk about the reality for a moment. This technology is getting better and better every single day. Right now, it's at a point where for most people, when they're accessing it, it's unnatural, it's slow. Mm. This is gonna make it more natural. But the model that you were interacting with, while very good, is not quite as good as OpenAI's model. That natural experience, though, changes it incredibly. What we've done is we've taken a whole bunch of open source models and proprietary models by small companies, mm. and we've accelerated them, and that makes that very different experience. So 2024 is the year where AI is going to become real and natural.